Welcome back hunters to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to unlock some very important things to continue progression in Monster Hunter Online. I'm talking about the very magical and wonderful weapon talents and weapon skills. I also want to give a big thank you to user Thup who pointed me in the right direction on how to go about unlocking weapon talents, so thanks again. This tutorial wouldn't have been available if it wasn't for you. Now in previous episodes, I somewhat touched upon these explaining just the weapon skill section and how to unlock them. What I didn't discuss is ways to get the pink slips required to purchase the skill books. Later on that. First, what are weapon talents? Talents are passive abilities that help boost the properties of each weapon, increasing the potency of attacks, or providing alternate traits that help add quicker movement, further dodges, quicker reloads, and much, much more. These can start being unlocked starting from level 20. The weapon talents section can be seen by pressing H and going over to the last tab of the open window. On the left hand side, you will see all the weapon classes, and by cycling through all of them, you can look and see which talents you may have unlocked, and what coins are required for them. In this episode, I'll be showing you the longsword talent since I've finally forged a decent weapon and will be further improving it as time goes by. Now in terms of translations, go check out monsterhunteronline.in. At the top, if you go over to items, weapons, and select the weapon that you want to use, scroll down past the weapon trees and click weapon info. There you'll find English descriptions of what the talents specifically do. I've already unlocked the first row of level 1 talents, for example, for the longsword. For the level 1 longsword talents, you have three options available. The the first one allows you to activate a special ability where if you are already in either level 1 or 2 spirit gauge, so either white or yellow, and you hit R or circle if you're using a PlayStation 3 controller at the end of the spirit combo, you'll actually get a bit of spirit gauge refilled at that time. Now this special combo does not increase your spirit gauge ability. The second talent is Increase Fade Slash Distance. This one is performed by pressing triangle and circle at the same time to do either a backwards evasive slash or left or right to dodge in those directions. These can also be followed up by a handy jump slash in the opposite direction you initially moved to close the gap after evading an attack and then striking once more. And the last longsword talent allows me to perform another fade slash right after doing the inverse fade slash. So if I need to evade right after jumping back in, I can do so following that attack. Really handy! So far these are the three talents I have active and are fairly easy to unlock. Now you might be thinking, but Helix, how do I unlock them? Great question! Now there are a few ways. Firstly, we need coins to unlock them. You can purchase specific weapon coins for every two question mark coins you have. This applies also to the second tier of talents. These coins are color coded, so silver, purple, and the final tier is gold. I haven't finished the second tier yet, so I'm not sure if the gold talents required more question mark coins for purchase. Now, how do we get these weapon coins or the question mark coins? Sometimes you are able to get them as a reward when doing unstable hunts. This happens from time to time where there will be a second monster appearing in the hunt that you must capture before taking out the primary hunt. There are also daily guild quests that you can gain these from. You can also buy these question mark coins or the weapon coins from the auction house, though they can be pretty pricey and required gold zenny to purchase. Now the final method that I wanted to focus on for this tutorial is earning them through completing specific hunts with different weapons. You can find these by hitting J on your keyboard and selecting the tab on the left hand side that has two swords crisscrossing. Once there, turn the pages until you get to this page where there are weapon symbols on top of these images. This indicates which weapon you will need to use to defeat the hunts with. They are categorized by stars, and the further you progress up, the more challenging the hunts will be. Pretty simple. For the first star quest, you will see a list with 5 hunts on them. Now what I did to complete these since I don't read Mandarin is I took a photo of it on my phone and then went to the appropriate gate, matching the names of the monsters with the corresponding symbols. For the first star quest, you have to fight the easy mode monsters, which are these ones located in square pictures. For the next tier, you have to defeat the challenge mode version of these monsters, which are located as a second option in these squares, as you can see right here. Once you complete these and move on to the two star pages, these are the HR quests that you will need to match up. For this, go to the appropriate gates and look through the HR quests to match the symbols with. It's not ideal, but it's not too difficult once you get into the swing of things. 
Defeat the monsters that are required on the pages, and then you will receive a present box that will give you 5 question mark coins. The higher the pages you are on, the higher tiered coins you will receive, so silver, purple, and lastly gold. So here you see I've completed the 5 required hunts. Once completed, go over to the main city hub and find this feline attached to some balloons. You'll find them right next to the auction house and also beside the blacksmith. I call this the mailman feline. Here you will receive the rewards for completing these quests and any other rewards you may do from other parts of the game. Once you grab the present from your mailbox, right click on it, you will receive 5 question mark coins associated with the tier of page that you are on. Once you get these coins, run over to the Hunter Trainer and select either the 2nd, 3rd or 4th option to purchase the respective weapon coins you need to unlock the talents. Just make sure you look at the symbols in the H screen for which coins you are buying, otherwise you can risk purchasing the wrong coins if you already unlocked a specific talent. Once you have enough coins, go over to that talent on the H screen and select this option to purchase it. As you can see, it requires a set amount of coins plus some silver zenny. Once purchased, right click on the talent and it will affix itself. Congratulations! You've unlocked your first talent! Another bonus for unlocking talents is you will receive pink slips that can be used to unlock new attacks for any weapons as well. So after you unlock your talent, go back to the feline mailman and you will find the pink slips here each time. Alright, so that wraps up this tutorial. Hopefully it makes unlocking weapon talents seem less daunting since there is no current English patch active in the game. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more from Monster Hunter Online, please leave a comment below, give the video a thumbs up, or even subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level!